All right, child, is the fish still okay? Flappy the fish is, is doing just great. Excellent, take me for a ride. You get so many flappy fishes. I trust the young maester. Master? Whatever. We did it. <laughs> flappy fish we trust. It's like Flappy Bird, but with a fish. He's like a little sea captain. He's just so happy to eat you. Oh no, it's one of these, isn't it? Okay, good. Uh -huh. All right, sea killer, cool. I don't know if I need it. Oh, hey, okay. So these things suck dick. <laughs> I hate the mask of progena. Like, are you kidding me? They are the, the worst thing ever to fight. I'm surprised they're fighting them so early too. God damn. Okay. Uh, out of pure safety, we're gonna rush down here, grab a repair kit. I'm gonna sort things out, and I don't know what he gives you. I think he gives you curse. I want to say he gives you curse. I'm hoping he gives you curse. I have a couple of explodey barrels here. Oh, that hits him multiple times. That's why I'm curious to see how much. This will give us a pretty healthy chunk of EXP, which is all right, I guess, but not that great. We're really not doing enough damage to justify fighting one, so we're just not going to worry about it. Also, poor Tone is out of water. We're going to give him a premium water here. We are going to need to purchase some more water. Uh, I didn't quite pay attention to if anyone in town gives you water. Who knows? Wait, why is Sam... Okay, so, okay, this, there's Sams in here, which are, like, lightning dudes. They're pretty weak. Which might change everything. Ah, he doesn't really give that much. He doesn't give enough to justify. He's not lightning, he's ice. He just, he looks yellow because of the stupid power-up bonus. Darn it, sir. Don't you understand? Your shenanigans are too strong. Uh-oh. Okay, you're just trying to block my treasure gains. There you go. Stamina. Damn it. <laughs> Stamina drink for me, fool. This seems incredibly dangerous to uh, to farm, so we probably won't farm this specific level. It has to be a level where the monsters are relatively easy to fight for both range and melee. So, in this case, these uh, dodge now, whatever the hell they're called, not great for range characters, right? So not worth it. I guess a Goro would have no problem with them. In fact, I would like to give Goro a shot. Have him... Give him a go. Excellent. That's what we're looking for. A nice little Parado there. And a Wind Gem. I mean, Wind Gem's Wind Gem. Whatever. What we should do, though, is swap between all our characters here so we don't have to eat any food. Get all our stamina back. Looking good. All right, Goro. Maybe we should uh, unleash the Goro, huh? Is he using anything on this guy? No. Let's go to Ruby for a moment. I have no idea what's worth using on Goro. I guess we could give him the Peridot, which is plus five damage on top of other nice little perks. Some of that raw damage in there. Kind of interesting when you pause the game and he sort of buffs on an enemy disappears. I wonder why that is. Come at me, bro. Interesting. I can dodge you, even though I'm tiptoeing to your face. You fool. Damn it. Oh my god. Oh my god, poor Goro. <laughs> what the hell? That's so weird. I've never seen that before. I guess I just don't use Goro. All right, so Sam's are the counter to Goro. They are the anti-Goro, if you will. <laughs> That's so funny to me. Like, the game clearly was input reading there, because it's like, I was very patient, and then it's just like, the moment I let go of the button, it's like, nope. That yeah, definitely looks like a poison to me, actually. Shit. Hell yeah, there you go. That seems to be the right way to go about this. 
Okay, and get one more hit in there without breaking the weapon, hopefully. That's weird. Every time you hit with this thing, it does that, eh? Kind of crazy. Oh, yeah, okay. So Goro is the counter to these Masks of Jora, or whatever the frick they're called. The Masks of Jeremiah. Let's go with that. What are they called again? Progena. There you go. They are the progeny. I will not lie. This freaking hammer move is pretty awesome. It even has a knockback on it. You see that? That's awesome. Please don't spew your poison at me. Thank you. Another antidote drink. Hey, I'll take it. Magical power plus one. Wait, what? Oh, no. A magical hammer plus one. I'm like, what? Then I learned that I couldn't read. So, you know, there's that. Uh, okay. So we're not putting the bandit thing in there. No way. Because what we're going to do is we're going to be breaking down the big bucks hammer and putting it in something else. Because uh, it gives you money every time you kill stuff with it. So we are just going to flat upgrade it with nothing in it. Just... Give it an upgrade. I know I said we got to get rid of some junk in our inventory, but I want that stuff going into weapons I will use, which would be Goro's frozen tuna. No, uh, it'd be Goro's magical hammer. Or even his battle axe, actually. We... I think originally I was making fun of the battle axe, but it is straight up better than the magical hammer. But the magical hammer does magic, so I don't know. Do you want magic or no magic? I'd, I'd say the battle axe is pretty good. Yeah, it's, I think it's just flat better, other than the magic. Sure, but whatever, you know what I mean. I want to get the big bucks hammer, I want to put it into like a tone weapon or chow's weapon, something like that, right? So it's just more worthwhile that way. And yeah, the Paco Cool is pretty nice. It's not too bad. I like how it looks. It just... Is that like a goblin sticking its tongue out? Oh, it's, yeah, it's like Wednesday, wasn't it? Yeah, it's definitely a goblin sticking its tongue out. But it's like possessed by a demon or something. It's freaking horrifying. All right, well, we're not gonna, we're not gonna farm this, this floor. It's not worthwhile, in my opinion. Yes, the, the EXP was decent, but I don't know. Oh my god, poor Garo is just full on prone in there. Also, we still have a whole floor to do, because it took us forever just to get in here. Ow. All right, here you go. <laughs> got him. No, you know who we don't got, though, is the, the prison chariot. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. How do you... How do you... How do you kill him? I guess you just don't. Not with Goro. That is also the anti-Goro, as we have now learned. All right, let's give him a piece of bread. Uh, and we'll go here so we don't go back in game to deal with a chariot. Uh, do we do what? We'll use Chow, I guess. There you go. Look at this rapid fire nonsense. Eeh! That was scary. I almost thought he was about to attack me there. Okay, we have gun, 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 gun. All right, gun, gun, gun. Charge me, fool. You know you want to. There you go. Oh, yeah, there you go. Look at that. Hey, we're using characters the way they were probably originally designed. I can only imagine level 5 directors just sitting there looking over the screen being like, huh, any enemy that charges Goro, those are the enemies for Goro. You know, stuff like that. Well, sir, uh, what enemy does Tone counter? And he just sits there and he's like, all of them. <laughs> Everyone. Hey, nice, we got the magical crystal. It makes my life a little bit easier. All right, my boy, sit tight. Let him come in. Wait, what? No. Oh no. I see you, chariot. Oh my god. Okay, Chow, we need you. Or maybe, do we need Chow? Maybe. Oh no. Jesus. Wait, wow, her defense is pretty good. Oh, I take it back. Run away! We tweet! 
Uh, do we have any pools? No, we have no pools. All right, well, enjoy your delicious premium chicken. Well, we're switching back over to chow. <laughs> Damn this game. Eee! Okay. Ah! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my God. We might, we're gonna have to head back to town and buy some like shit. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. This is like one of the easiest enemies in the game to dodge and every time I'm just getting hit. All right, come at me, bro. I know you want this. Why do you keep getting stuck on terrain? You're so stupid. Maybe that's his attack animation and he just, yeah, his attack animation is getting stuck. What a genius. Okay, there's his charge attack finally, which is good. Our poor weapon is getting torn to shreds. If anything, we're gonna have to head back to town just to repair the weapon. But that's how it is. Uh, is it worth trying? Status of the equipped weapon has changed. What do you mean? Usually that means certain things that are on the weapon. Also, let's put holy on there, I guess. I don't know. That seems, why did it sound like a bad thing? I didn't even, it didn't, I don't know. All you guys that are really experts at this game, please help. What the hell is that one? I know we've got that one before, too, and I'm still confused as to what it does. It gives you the negative sound effect, but it, I don't know. And that's what it means is it changed your element that's currently equipped, which I'm like, okay. All right. Whoa! Freaking MLG sniped my ass. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Hello, Skellington. Are we getting, I wonder if we're getting decent money for this. I don't even know. There we go. Gun, gun, gun. Yum, yum, yum. Thank you for the anti-goo amulet. Delicious. Delightful. I wonder, do we stuff... Do we, ooh, maybe we stuff the, uh, oh, maybe we do that. Oh, man, my brain. Okay, here's what we do, late laddies and gents. We stuff the bandit thingy into the big bucks hammer, and then when the big bucks hammer can be uh, put into other weapons. Okay, we won't do this until it, it, the, the big bucks hammer is going to plus five, because then we can just immediately break it down. Ooh, I like this though. I like this. And then we'll have a bandit weapon that we can trade between the characters and we'll just have a floating big bucks and a floating uh, uh, steel, which is awesome. And then maybe we'll just keep it like that. I don't know. I mean, obviously ideally it would be that every weapon that is your main weapon on each of the characters has all those perks, but we don't have that kind of like, we don't have that kind of time, man, so. If we can just have a nice, really powerful floaty weapon that, fl that floats between each individual character and gives them all a pretty gnarly buff, I mean, that's pretty solid to me. I mean, the Big Bucks Hammer comes with decent attacks, so it helps a lot with the, what the Bandit Slingshot offers. I'm actually really excited for that. That sounds awesome. I am going to do that. Uh, and Chao already has steel on her weapon anyway, which is cool. So her getting the big bucks floating around on her weapon is great. Um, yeah, I'm actually really happy with this decision. Yeah, I'm gonna be, this is gonna be awesome. Oh wait, we have a chariot. Shit. Yep. <laughs> I'm out of here. Oh god. Oh god. There's that guy. Switch back over to Goro. Dude, Goro's like super is actually pretty nice. Cause the weapon HP seems to only go down on the first go, on the first hit, and then any subsequent hit. Oh, hey, hello. Dude, Goro's a beast. I'm actually, like, changing my opinion on him. 
Like his his move, man. His move. His, he only has one move, but it's a move, and it's a good move. And I'm into it. Cathedral. That sounds giant. Wonder where the heck we're gonna put a cathedral. I still don't know where to put the freaking waterway. <laughs> I need to find out. I totally forget where that one guy needs to be. He says he wants to be near a waterway, and I'm like, what the hell is that? Maybe, I, I'm going to assume we just don't have the waterway just yet. Hello. Bad move, kid. Nothing personnel. Aw, oh, dang it. Not another one of you. Whoa. Got another gun gun. Hello. You want some of this, kid? Easy. Whoop. You don't need to whoop pop. Oh my god, another flappy fish. Uh, well, that'll have to be saved for the next floor because we've already gone to the one on this floor. I hope it doesn't melt, but luckily we're at the end of this floor, so we should be okay. I'm also pretty happy with how Ruby's going, and if we can somehow get a plus five Goro weapon before we ha we are forced to play as Ruby, we'll have an even easier time, I think, because his big bucks hammer with the, excuse me, with the uh, the bandit slingshot installed should be good. This should be pretty good for a buff. There we go, take that pulley system. To the next round. Oh, no. Well, too late. <laughs> well, it happens. So we'll go over to Goro, who has our lovely gear. Hello, Goro. Yes, yes. We'll give her the Peridot, of course. You gotta have that plus five attack. I mean, anything to make our lives easier. Thank goodness she got a new weapon. We got very lucky there, by the way. I feel like all of the the luck that we didn't have at the be very beginning of this run in Narun Village has all turned itself around in this one, and it's definitely awesome. So all we need is the key to leave, and uh, we're good. But we probably want to use the flapping fish. Just because I'm, I'm more so worried that the... Uh... Oh, well, look at that. I'm more so worried that the flapping fish is going to go bad before we get to the next floor. So I don't want to waste too much time. And since it's just Ruby, the only doors we're going to get are either the locked door... Oh, shit. Of course. Well, let's open these all. It's worth doing. Oh, nice. Hey, I'll take it. Uh, I don't know what I was saying there, but anyway, yeah. For the most part, all, the only doors that we're going to get are, like, locked doors or uh, the Ruby door. So we should be okay to just sprint through the level. At this point. Okay, that's fine. Again, we're, we're running on borrowed time here, man. We gotta get that flapping fish thrown into the mouth of a frog or else we're gonna die. Well, we're not gonna die, or we're just gonna lose money. Nice magical crystal. Lots of uh, chests on the map, geez. Of course. Should I say lots of chests or lots of mimics? Yeah, I got some bomb nuts. Always nice to throw at stuff. Get frickin' wrecked. Jesus! I gotta pay extra attention to where the question mark is on the map, because for some reason, it, it, on Shipwreck, I have a very difficult time seeing it. There we go. We found it there. I just don't see it. It just kind of blends in with the background, I find. Oh, pff, of course, obviously the hook doesn't work. I am a dum-dum. There it is. Hey, it's still alive. Excellent. Get in there. Get in there and find some dank loot, girl. All right, uh, you know what? Let's open all the chests first. He'll stay there, so we can always come back. Looks like the exit's right there, actually, which is great. Oh shit, ah! That was close. Ha ha! 
And the abs are full, excellent. We gotta make sure we don't plug in anything. Well, actually, we could upgrade. Uh, are we gonna push for an upgrade on Ruby? Is that even a thing to do? We're gonna need more MP, wind, and that's it? Oh, okay. Uh, if that's it, then that is okay with me. I'm hoping we don't need wind for anyone else. We're gonna stuff this full of wind. And sorry, Chow, if you need this. But we might as well. If it's that simple, if it's just do that stuff, then I'm okay with it. It might not be a good weapon. Who knows, right? And if we go to attributes here, we'll keep it on holy because holy is still worth more. Holy is at 20 instead of 19. It's not a big difference, but I know a lot of enemies here that are weak to holy, so leaving it on is fine. And we'll put this stuff back on. What, what's better though? Is this better? Actually, we do have a holy pearl. Oh, apparently this pearl is not holy. <laughs> the Peridot the Peridot is holy. That's what it is. There you go. Hey, there we go. <clears throat> hey, what am I talking about? Wind is at 26 now. Oh, that's why. It's because of the, the bandit. Okay, yeah, whatever. <laughs> it doesn't matter at all. Oh yeah, we got warrior. Okay, so Pearl has anti-undead, but for whatever reason, it's a lightning weapon. Yeah, whatever. I'll just buff all her uh, damage. Sweet. All that work for nothing. Oh yeah, we were also going to switch your weapon around. Of course. Oh god. Aiming your shot with reverse controls. Down is up and up is down. And for some people that played flight sims or something back in the day, I'm sure that's great. But for me, it's like, nope. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, we're doing pretty solid damage. Let's be honest. Ruby's kicking booty. Nice, we got our map. Makes things a little bit easier to kind of identify on the map. Oh my god, what the hell? Alright, well... If we didn't need to be speedy, now we gotta be real speedy, because now we have to go through a whole floor. Grab a bunch of shit. Okay, nice. Great. And then... Oh my god. Okay, well, hold on. We only got two repair powders left. Thankfully, we stole a few from the uh, captains. We still got a good amount of Drance Feathers, which is good. We don't have any ice in our inventory, so yeah, we're, we're on limited time here, but whatever. Alright, take me. Take me to the next realm. That's how bored she looked that she had to, like, get eaten. Yum, 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 yum. Hi, Myth. Do you mind if I take you to a cool new area? I guess. Alright. Oh no, my Dran's Feather! Oh no, it's my last- Oh no, we have two more. Whew! Dodge that bullet. Okay. Metal Breaker. I love the names of some of these things. So yeah, our goal right now is to avoid enemy conflict. And specifically focus on getting the loot. Which is the whole reason you go to these back rooms. Cool, got a holy water. Dino Slayer, nice. Pretty sure Chow needs those still. It is kind of weird that some of the things have different names than what they're called in the menu. Like, they're called Dino Slayer, but then it says Anti Dragon when you look at it or something. It's kind of weird. Hey, nice. Power Up Powder, always the best. It's such a nice time saver. Like I said, with Tone, I, I should be just using those at this point, considering his weapon's so high level and he's so close to getting it upgraded. I might just get my ass blasted there. Oh, we're good. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Uh, maybe grab the pond real quick. Great. Uh, I would have fought these guys probably, maybe, but again, it would be too much of a risk, because if Ruby dies on this limited floor, then... Unfortunately, that would mean that we would get kicked out of the dungeon and we would lose half of our inventory. Oh my god, half of our inventory, so it's just not worth it. So on the next floor, we need to try and rush through it and get to the question mark. 
before Flapping Fish obliterates itself uh, in our very warm and not not cold pockets. I assume that's what we carry all our stuff in, right? Maybe it's like a bag of holding? Oh, Jesus. Alright, there we go. Pretty fortunate overall, though. That run was pretty good. 